Hello my friends, Boomy here once again with another video for you, my SOTOR brothers and sisters. How's everyone doing today in the galaxy far, far, far? Ooh, so far. Oh hey, if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button for all your SOTOR fun news, gadget and updates right here, right now. My friends, conquests. Yes, we're gonna talk conquests for a moment. 7.4 came, 7.41 came, and a lot of things came with that. Date night came with that. Other stuff came with that, but also what came with a lot of things was, well, they changed Conquest and how that's going to work with stuff. So, periodically, uh, Eric Musco has been coming out with, like, reasons why they changed Conquest the way they did. And they've also been listening to the community and what the community has been saying. There Now, I have seen some people say, oh, this isn't that bad. This is pretty good. And other people are like, the world is dying. Why the F diddles did you even mess with stuff? Stop messing with things, please. Let's get into what Eric Musco had to say and what is coming our way in 7.4.1C. Eric Musco says, hello, folks. He says, I'm back to talk about the conquest changes we are planning for 7.4.1C. Stay tuned for a post in the next few days with more details on the timing for this patch. He says, thank you again for the feedback. Since the original change for 741, it gave us a lot to chew on internally around our change, our goals for conquests, and the friction that came out in the feedback you were passing on. Well, the, the friction is that the community doesn't like change, especially change that we don't understand why you did it at all. He also continues in saying, this is what changed the reminder for everything that changed in 741 is that they reduced the amount of conquest points earned for the advancement reputation objective by a fairly substantial amount. The reason we did this, he says, was to reduce the need for more reputation tracks in galactic seasons and brings in a, par a parity with other objectives given and relatively low effort required. Since you could, assuming you had rep tokens on hand, simply log in and right click a token for thousands of points. Now, coming off of that change, we definitely heard some places where this had some knock-on consequences that we wanted to take into account. And those are the following low session time options. Whether this is for someone with a lot of alts or just someone on their main who wanted to dip in for a quick session, that objective did allow a path for someone to be able to get points during short sessions. Supplemental conquest points. This runs a little parallel to the first point, but having so many points from the rep objective allowed for someone to be able to get in their conquest objective, I'm sorry, conquest completed generally by playing a variety of content and supplementing it by gaining rep using rep tokens, aka quick repeatable methods of getting conquest points capable across alts. Again, there is a Venn diagram with the above two points, but the rep objective was something that was powerful because someone with many alts could simply log in low session time to pound bounce across alts as needed throughout the week to complete the conquest. One quick aside on this point before we get to the conquest change. While we were discussing your feedback, we noted one point specifically about daily areas and alts. Many daily areas required a specific amount of crit path progression before you can access them, so this was a friction point for each alt, especially if you had many of them. We are changing this in 741C so that the requirement to access daily areas is now relevant crit path achievement instead of crit path completion on the character, meaning they will now effectively unlock across your legacy instead of character by character. You are, of course, still free to unlock them naturally on each character via story completion if you wish. This just gives another path to unlocking them. Hey, I am always a big fan for them giving you different ways to do something. Say you want to do uh, something, you want to do everything naturally on all your alts, party on. But if you don't, there's still, there's still a way to do all the things. And that's always good. He says, okay, so understanding the feedback we heard and some of the problems we wanted to focus on in 741C, here are the two changes we currently have planned. The infinitely repeatable complete a heroic mission conquest objective is now available at all levels, previously only available between 10 and 49. The complete a heroic mission conquest objective is now worth 2,000 conquest points up from 1650. This is 5,000 points for those of you with max stronghold bonuses. 
He says, previously, the infinitely repeatable heroic conquest objective was not available to anyone above level 49. So these changes should add another inflow of points to players completing those heroics now. And we also increase the points players earn from the objective at the same time to supplement even fur further. He continues, heroic missions are more of our fastest PvE content in the game. They have the added benefits of being soloable, alt-friendly, and can be completed while playing the content such as a daily area. We felt targeting heroics allowed us to address the problems raised from the 741 change while still requiring a bit more direct engagement. All that said, Conquest is definitely a place we are continuing to pay close attention to and plan to make more changes in the future, so keep the feedback coming Thank you all. So there you have it. If you're wondering what the hell happened with all the conquest stuff when I was doing, why can't I do A, B, C, or D? Eric's coming out and explaining that. And I think that's a really good thing for Broadsword to be doing is communicating why they made changes. And it's also very important for them to, in the future, communicate that they are going to be making some changes. This is a, uh, sometimes you wonder, how did you forget some of these things? Communication is key, and I'm glad Eric is coming out and Broadsword is coming out going, guys, this is what we're changing. This is why we're changing it. Guys, we are also listening to your feedback, both good and bad, in, our, in, the, in the forums and however else you're, you're communicating it. They're listening to you, and they're trying to make changes along the way according to what they want to do for the game and what you guys are saying is probably, in your opinion, best for the game, right? So there's, there's that bridge we all, developers and community members, have to come to and just kind of like try to maybe hopefully someday meet in the middle and everyone will be happy. But this is also the internet where no one's happy, so good luck with that, I guess. Hey, drama sells, apparently. I don't know. It was my friend's. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about these changes that they're doing? What do you think about the changes that came with 741? And what they've subsequently been doing to try to fix and remedy the situation? Let me know your thoughts. Let's keep the conversation going on down there. Make sure you hit the like button. The more likes we get, the more the algorithm likes us. And obviously, we want it to like us. And make sure you hit the share button and the bell notification button. All that jazz and all that stuff. It does also help out the channel quite a bit. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Become part of the family here at Booming Nation to free show youtube the black sheep of gaming and as always my friends remember to be kind it's about community and don't forget to spay and neuter your wookies we'll see you later my friends good day